Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is the 21st video from the video log series that I've been doing December 2018. Most of them were focused on the Residencia Expand that I was part of. Um, what can I say? We still have five uh, vlogs left, so uh, I think I should do them all because it's an advent vlogs, even though I'm no longer in the residency. I can still talk about my day-to-day -day life as a video logger. So what have I been doing lately? Um, well, right now I just finished reading a book, Art Matters, by Neil Gaiman, uh, which was um, writings from Neil Gaiman and uh, drawings by Chris Rydell, or Rydell, I'm not sure how the name is supposed to be uh, pronounced. Very good book, had some very interesting um, sayings from from Neil Gaiman, very short book as well. I already had read some of those texts. Um, the most important one is one that he had uh, given as, um, uh, is it called laureate speaker? You know, when they invite an old student to give uh, a talk to encourage new students. Uh, he had given a very interesting speech on how how you should do your art and that sometimes it's hard and you can you have to take uh, jobs that you don't necessarily like but that uh, will help you go towards your end goal which is uh, which is you should know where you want to go and keep that in mind despite you doing other things that you don't necessarily like doing and it had a very nice writing in it to just, that just said, you know, whatever problem you have in life, uh, you're an artist, so you have a very easy solution. And it's the only solution you actually have, so it's the only thing logical that you can do, which is make good art. Whatever problem you have, just make good art. Problems with the IRS, you should make good art. Your cat explodes, you should make good art. Uh, a boa constrictor uh, bit your leg off. You should make good art. So whatever happens, just make good art. And that's that's an awesome piece of advice. And uh, I've been trying to follow it as best as I can. It's not easy being an artist. You, you're con constantly in doubt if you should be challenging yourself more, challenging yourself less. Um, if other people take your art seriously, what you do seriously, you know, and the bottom line, the most important thing is that you should be doing what you like doing. And that's what I've been trying to do. And um, I, I, I think I'm, I'm being a bit successful in that. Not that my art is very famous, but I'm not as stressed as I was when I was uh, working for things that I wasn't enjoying, I was just doing stuff for the money. And I'm 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 having a much better time um, doing having more time now to do the things that I really love doing. So this book was a present from from my girlfriend. Actually, I, it was my birthday yesterday, so she gave me this uh, book among other things, and it had a nice writing there that you know if if I ever doubt myself, just make make good art, make art not war. And that's a great piece of advice, and I will try to keep following it as best to my ability. Uh, what other stuff have I been doing? I've been playing Subnautica a lot, because it was free at Epic Games. And I was never much into crafting games. I tried Minecraft, and it was like, eh, are you paying for this? It's like a sandbox game. Okay, it's sort of interesting, but it's sort of a time waster. I also check Terrarium or whatever it's called because a lot of people were also playing it and I also was not convinced. So I'm not really much into a crafting kind of game. But I do usually like the action games that have some crafting involved like uh, Shadow of Tomb Raider uh, or Rise of the Tomb Raider even. I haven't played Shadow of Tomb Raider yet. Um, those or Far Cry, it also has some crafting involved. You can evolve your own character and reach further, which is a nice continuation of the old Zelda scheme where you have one map and then you keep leveling up your character. You can reach more regions. Also, Mega Man also had that that uh, way of uh, handling things. Um, and I like that concept. So I guess Subnautica try. 
And I like it. I like the graphics on it. I like the mood of it. I like that you are finding alien creatures in the in the in the deep sea. Um, so yeah, I've been playing it a few times. I've been enjoying it. Uh, last night was a bit of a creepy session. Managed to find some alien civilization, and I almost died. So that was that was curious. I've also been exploring the deeper caves, which is also curious. Uh, very mysterious like so uh so yeah it's I've, I've been enjoying subnautica um what else have i been doing uh, yesterday i had a live stream of mystery demo scene fiat 9000 with truck and frankie ended up being a very good show um we didn't have very much time to prepare but it was just listing up a lot of entries from x demo party from silly venture demo party from tokyo demo fest and we also showed some stuff from demo splash Really cool. The guys had some uh, really cool insight to uh, to old retro platforms that I didn't know, so it was very cool to have them both. Um, and it was the last show that we had from 2018. So successful season three. Thank you everybody from the Patreon for supporting Mystery Demo Scene Theater 9000. There are like 10 people that support me, so so that means a lot to me. Thank you guys for that, and I will try to to. Um, Keep improving it bit by bit in 2019 and see how it evolves. I've been considering a few times if I should uh, stop doing Mystery Demo Scene Theater for, for a little while. and uh, But actually it was the Patreon that made me keep doing it. Because I feel like since I'm getting support to focus on it. And I do like doing Mystery Demo Scene Theater 9000. If I didn't enjoy doing it... I would stop it, but sometimes I feel like it's the numbers are not there. You know, you only have like thirty viewers when you on live, and then it seems to be lost. Seems like no one is really searching for it or finding the old issues and things like that, and that can be a bit demotivating. Like you do, you do something, and then it doesn't seem like there's a follow up. I don't know if I don't know what I was expecting. I know the demo scene is a bit of a niche and there's so much content already on the demo scene. You already have to check all the demos. That most people that follow the demo scene don't follow everything. They're not like me. They're not OCD that they have to see every demo and comment every demo and know all those little things even if your memory will fail you and you won't remember it in 6 months time. I, I, I need to do that. I, I go to Puet, and if I haven't seen that demo, I have to see it and vote. So I can then read back my comments six months later and try to recall if I have seen the demo or not. That's most of what I do on a new demo. If something I, if I don't recognize, I search for my name and see if I already commented it on, a, on it. And if I have commented then most probably I have seen it and uh, I will, on the comment, I will remind myself of what I thought of it. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much what I do to, to keep track of uh, the demos. Uh, but yeah, I've also been doing those uh, videos for for the Pick a Topic, Any Topic, which sometimes have been a bit uh, hard to get through, but on the other times, like... A few of them, they ended up pretty good, and I was happy that I got the challenge to to motivate me to actually do the video. Otherwise, I just wouldn't have done a video that month. But having to put it on my to-do list forces me to think about it and tackle it, and 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 yeah, and and I I think the result has been good. Uh, sometimes I wish I had more time for things to do things better, more properly. But, you know, the day only has 24 hours and you spent eight of them sleeping. And you also had to take a bath and shave, which I haven't done. And eat and stuff like that. And I have an infestation in the house, which we're still struggling with. So, yeah. About the infestation, I guess we can talk a little bit about it. Seems that the room is pretty much clear, but the thing is we already... We took most of the furniture out of the room and we sent all the clothes to wash and we have been washing them, doing like tons and tons of of uh, washing machines and putting things to dry and then the weather is rainy so it doesn't dry 
And we bought more eaters, trying to heat up the whole place, try to avoid uh, moisture to starve the white meters out. The room seems more or less clear. I still catch one or two bugs in the... In the... Um, what's it called? The big closet where you have the clothes. Which is not where you want to catch the bugs. Because if they go there and they find... A nice nesting place in one of the clothes. They will propagate once again. But yeah. It's, it's, it's a struggle. And so the room seems more or less clean. We haven't seen that many bugs lately. We try to vacuum it every day, put some spray uh, every other day. Um, the studio is cleaner than it used to be. Uh, I still find a few bugs, but not as much as there were one week ago. And now the main problem is uh, the entry hall, the library and the bathrooms. They are still infected. And the living room is mostly not infected because it catches a lot of sun. And I guess that kind of helps keep the moisture under control. But the clothes that we've been putting there, as we need to vacate space on the bedroom, are piling up there. And those are uh, contaminated with my white meats. So, so, yeah, we also have the living room contaminated. The kitchen is strangely enough uh, bug free because it catches a lot of sun I guess. If that makes sense. So yeah that's that's also been a major concern of us of ours uh, lately. Uh, what other stuff have I been doing? I did uh, a stream for um, Vainglory as well doing the finals a couple days ago. And I'm doing another stream today, but for books and beers, we're gonna do um, Birreria as Quintas em Casa, which is Birreria is the place where we go to drink craft beer every Thursday. And now they are closing down because the main guy, João, wants to uh, focus on only making beer instead of running the bar. Uh, because he has a kid and needs more time and blah 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 doesn't matter anyways they're only open on friday and saturdays now so not on thursday so now we decided to do this event where we drink the beer that we usually would drink there we drink it at home and since we don't have time to shoot videos for our books and beers channel we take the wonderful opportunity to shoot a live stream and do that instead so from 7 until 7.30 or 7.45, depends on how the stream goes, we will just be drinking a couple of beers and talking about random topics, probably the books that we've been reading lately, um, on the Books and Beers channel in Portuguese. Uh, so look it up, Books and Beers, um, and show up if you can. So, yeah. And then we have a dinner party from Artica as well that we have to go. Uh, hopefully the restaurant will have a vegan option for Christina uh, because a couple of years ago we didn't so I wonder but we'll see and yeah that's it I have to write also a blog article for like a wrap up of Resiliency Expand with links to projects and stuff like that and talk about the workshops that we had sort of a, like a roundup closure uh, sort of article also put the links to uh, this video series that I've been doing I guess so yeah that's what I have to do that's what I'm gonna do after I have some food so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, series of videos the advent vlogs uh, see you in the next one I guess I'll have to do another one tomorrow um, I will do 25 because I think that's what you do on advent you do 25 up until Christmas you're counting to Christmas uh, not a whole furry. So, so yeah. I'm looking at behind me because Christina bought some chocolate calendars. The advent uh, vlog. And I think there's only 25 in them as well. I only see 24 actually. You can see it. I don't know why she bought this. It's fair trade. So I guess that's alright. Because this is like a waste of money. And this is for kids. But she knows I like chocolate. So she just decided to buy it on impulse 
I told her not to, but uh, well, they're already here, so I have to eat them now. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know any questions or anything you would like me to cover on uh, uh, the next follow-up advent logs that I still be doing throughout December. And yeah, I also have a rant about booking stuff online, but I'll leave it for the video for tomorrow. So bye-bye everyone. Take care. See you next time.